Would you please sit? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As Chancellor of this university, it's my very great pleasure to welcome you all to this ceremony for the School of Engineering and Computer Science. I'd like to begin by introducing the platform party and to welcome on my immediate left, Professor William Webb, who will be receiving an honorary degree of Doctor of Science. On my far left is Dr. Rodney Day, Dean of the School of Engineering and Computer Science. On my right is Professor John Senior, Pro Vice Chancellor for Research and Enterprise. At the table to my right is Mrs. Helen Davidson, Deputy Secretary and Registrar, who carries the university's mace today. I'd particularly like to welcome our graduates their families and friends to this afternoon's ceremony. Uh, this will be a day I hope you will long remember, marking your achievement after years of study. I hope that all of you will enjoy it and take pleasure in your achievement. We will now proceed with the presentation of awards, and I have pleasure in calling upon Professor Senior to read a citation for the conferment of an honorary degree on Professor William Webb. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to read a citation for the conferment of an honorary award of Doctor of Science on Professor William Webb. We take our mobile devices for granted in the 21st century and assume a strong, uninterrupted Wi-Fi signal wherever we are. Over the course of his career, William Webb has made a vital contribution to wireless communications technology. Even as a child, William showed an aptitude for electronics. He loved building radios and sensor systems with his electronics kit, but even then would push the boundaries and expand on the templates that were provided. He and his father, himself an accomplished electronics engineer in the field of radar, would repair any broken electrical appliances and, as he grew older, William started to build complex components for his hi-fi system. We won't mention the occasion that one of the power supplies burst into flames, though. This early interest stood him in good stead as he graduated from Southampton University with a first-class honours degree in electronic engineering and then continued with a PhD at the same institution. During the course of his PhD, he was encouraged to join Multiple Access Communications, a consulting business that enables students to combine their research with client projects. Here, he learned to combine groundbreaking theoretical work with practical application, commercial delivery, and strategic planning, which has served him very well throughout his career. It is a career that has seen him hold positions with a number of high-profile companies in the UK and abroad, in the fields of hardware design, computer simulation, propagation modeling, spectrum management, and strategy development. He has also been instrumental in the setup of new organizations in the field, including Newell in 2011, which developed machine-to-machine -machine technologies and networks. Three years later, the company was sold to Huawei for $25 million. William has also made an outstanding contribution to weightless technology, the wireless connectivity for networks designed for the Internet of Things. In 2012, he founded the Weightless Special Interest Group, the standards body for weightless. In the three years following its inception, William grew the organization's membership from just four to more than 2,000. He played a key role in developing the weightless specification and wrote the definitive guide to the technology called Understanding Weightless. Also, in 2012, William established Web Search, which offers technical and strategic consultancy to chief executive officers, government ministers, and regulatory bodies, 
and even on occasion sees him acting as an expert witness in complex legal cases in the wireless field. William, who lives in Melbourne in Hertfordshire, has published extensively with 16 books and more than 100 papers to his name, as well as, well as being an author or joint author of 21 patents. The publication he considers to be his most important, however, is The 5G Myth, which critically analyzes the requirements and implications of 5G connectivity. William's drive and commitment can clearly be seen outside his work. He is a keen cyclist and will at times be found commuting from his home near Cambridge to London on his two wheels. He has completed the gruelling St. Coles Challenge no less than six times, an event that involves cycling 100 mountain passes in 10 days. William has been widely recognised for his work and is listed internationally in Who's Who, Debrit's People of Today and the 2000 Outstanding Intellectuals of the 21st Century. He was awarded the Albert Nelson Lifetime Achievement Award in 2017 and the Institution of Engineering and Technology Technology's Mountbatten Medal in 2018, one of its highest awards for the promotion of technology entrepreneurship. A number of universities have also bestowed honors, honorary awards on William in recognition of his contribution to the wireless communication field. William's remarkable achievements make him an excellent role model for students at the University of Hertfordshire particularly his experience of and expertise as an entrepreneur. And we are delighted to be bestowing another award upon him today. Chancellor, in recognition of his contribution to wireless technology and communication engineering, I ask you that you confer an honorary award of Doctor of Science upon Dr. William Webb. It gives us particular pleasure to confer this award, and I now call upon Dr. Webb to address us. Chancellor, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, it's truly a great honor to be standing here today, to be accepting this degree, for which I didn't have to pay any tuition fees, and to be sharing in your great achievements in your degrees in computer science and in engineering doctorates. So how did it happen? How come I'm standing here today? It wasn't something I expected. It wasn't something I consciously worked towards. I remember speaking to a colleague some years ago who gained a knighthood and asking him the same question. And he said that he'd not aimed for it. He just tried to do good things. So what does that mean? What good things are there? What good things might I have done? Well. You've heard about quite a few potential sort of good things. Some of them, for example, in the academic space where I've pushed the boundaries a little in wireless communications. Some of them perhaps more in the political area. I worked for Ofcom, the UK's regulatory body for a number of years, where I helped politicians and civil servants look at ways to better manage the use of radio spectrum and radio technology to benefit the citizens of the country. Perhaps the good things might include charitable achievements. For many years, I was a trustee of the Institution of Engineering and Technology, or the IET, and in my final year there, I was its president, and I tried to help direct its energies towards engineering a better world for everyone, trying to allow engineers to make our world a better place, which I think is one of the key roles that they can fulfill. And as you've heard, I've also done some rather crazy cycle challenges, but I don't think those count in this context. So could I distill any of that into any kind of general career advice? Well, generalization is always very dangerous, but also very tempting. So here I go. The first thing I would say is pursue what interests you rather than what you think will lead to the greatest remuneration or responsibility. Because beyond a certain point, having a bit more money doesn't make us particularly happy. But having a career that is fascinating and interesting is perhaps the best thing you can possibly achieve. 
And certainly you're graduating in areas that offer enormous potential for really interesting, rewarding challenges. I would ask you to listen to your heart as much as your head. For example, charitable activities might not seem to make much logical sense, but can be hugely rewarding in many, many ways. One thing I really would urge you to do is network. And by network, I don't mean use LinkedIn and Facebook more. I mean really network. Get out there, meet people, go to conferences, events, go to institutional activities, because that's the great way to learn and it's where all sorts of serendipitous events happen. And as I look back at my career, many of the most memorable activities spring from happy serendipitous events when I was networking. I would say try to have some career plans, but don't stick to them too rigidly. Make them relatively short over a period of a few years because you'll find the world around you changes as it clearly is dramatically at the moment. And you yourself will change and therefore you'll want to revisit what you're doing. Have the courage of your convictions. If you believe in something, say what you believe in, even if you're going against the grain. You'll be respected for that as long as you set out clearly why you believe in it. But if it's going to be a controversial conviction, test it on a few friends first. Strongly held convictions aren't always right. A bit of self-publicity from time to time helps. If you can speak at a few conferences, publish a few papers, put a few posts out, um, generally get your name out there, then that's a great thing. But try and do it when you have got something to say. There's nothing worse than someone standing up and just providing a bit of corporate PR. That doesn't indeed to anyone. And don't forget, I suspect that nobody on their deathbed said, I wish I'd spent more time in the office. Don't defer all the good times to your retirement. Well, that's my advice. It seems rather vague, perhaps. Can it really be enough? I think it takes a lot of energy and a lot of application to keep going with all those kind of activities, and a good dose of luck, but you can help manufacture your own luck through being in the right place at the right time. But perhaps ultimately what I've learned is that as humans, we have deeply ingrained needs and desires. Listen to them, reflect on them, understand what sort of person you are and what sort of person you want to be, and then go out there and do some good things. Best of luck and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Webb. We shall now receive the graduates of the School of Engineering and Computer Science. As you know, graduates are presented by a member of the academic staff from their school or department, and therefore I first call upon Dr. E. Sun. Department of Computer Science, Doctor of Philosophy, VM Mohammed S. bin Juma has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Reducing Errors in Optical Data Transmission Using Trainable Machine Learning Methods. Chancellor, Dr. VM Mohammed S. bin Juma. Doctor of Philosophy, Lisa Jane Bowers has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled A Haptic Study to Inclusively Aid Teaching and Learning in the Discipline of Design. Chancellor, Doctor Lisa Jane Bowers. Doctor of Philosophy, Michael Edward Bowler has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy 
in recognition of a program of work entitled Interactive Haptics for Remote and On-Site Assessment of Arm Function Following a Stroke. Chancellor, Dr. Michael Edward Bowler. Doctor of Philosophy. Saverio Archiovelli has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Adaptive Mixed Term and Short Term Mixed Criticality Systems. Chancellor, Dr. Saverio Archiovelli. Master of Science degree in Advanced Computer Science, Yontin Barreto. <laughs> With distinction, Mohammed Hard Bodler. Narendra Ganji. <laughs> Bindu Garapati. <laughs> With distinction, Rijesh Goda. Bharti Goyal. <laughs> With distinction, Suresh Kumar Goodler. <laughs> Vishnu Vardhan Chowdhury Gavuri. <laughs> Anudeep Kotagiri. Naveen Kundeti. <laughs> Sandaria Lanka. <laughs> Niha Sanjay Moore. <laughs> Govind Muller. Medha Reddy Musker. <laughs> Ranjini Muthiala. <laughs> With distinction, Damini Ramishchandra Sagar. <laughs> With distinction, Bhuvanesh Subramanian. <laughs> Shiva Theja Thaminini. <laughs> Swathi Venapu. Master of Science degree in Artificial Intelligence with Robotics. With distinction, Muhammad Saheb Ashraf. <laughs> 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 With 
Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Sachin Guthapali Chandrashikar. With distinction, Sayan Muzumbra. Shrikanth Reddy Peruma Reddy. Deepak Sivaraman. Siraz Rajan Nair. Master of Science degree in Computer Networking Principles and Practice, Mahboob Al Haq Abbasi. Raj Yashwant Patanka. Sazadur Rahman. Srija Simhadri. Master of Science degree in Computer Science, Richard Ajiboye Ayobedeli Abioi. With distinction, Dean Becker. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Reddy Bhima Varapu. With distinction, Naveen Kumar Kempaya. Shushmitha Reddy Kalanu. Hari Krishna Reddy Konda. Mohammed Mahmoud Shafiq Abdullalal Shalabi. With distinction, Beth Walsh. Master of Science degree in Cybersecurity, Sachin Benny. Pretty Joshi. Gopal Aryo, Nana Maneni. Charan Potley. Prerit Prasad. Master of Science degree in Distributed Systems and Networks. With distinction, Christian Luke Chetkuti. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Software Engineering. With distinction, Isaac Mensah Afrifa. <laughs> Muhammad Haider Ali. Victor Bamiadeli Balogan. <laughs> Mohammed Osman Ghani. <laughs> Ms.
with distinction, Louise Francis Knight. <laughs> Ali Nasir. <laughs> with distinction, Saeed Ali Nakiraza. Venslaus Alan Wafula. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Software Engineering, George Wayena Kimani. <laughs> Master of Engineering Degree in Computer Science, with First Class Honours, John Edward Simon Furley. With first class honours, Stefanos Andreas Nicolas Nicolaou. <laughs> With first class honours, Samirul Sahabuddin. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Mohammed Adan. Ugona Agbez. <laughs> With first class honours, Fahana Akhtar Ali. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Sandri Patricia Andriana Binin Soa. With first class honours, Arkashan Bhatia. <laughs> With first class honours, Kimia Ulurian. <laughs> With first class honours, Natalie Jane Cricket. Ariana Elizabeth Dennis. <laughs> With first class honours, Kartika Doogie. <laughs> Mohini Dilip Kumar. With first class honours, Laszlo Thomas Gaspar. <laughs> Daniela Garabi. <laughs> Rahel Hale Michael. <laughs> Ibra Ishak. Eric Kanagaratnam. <laughs> Fodshlul Kalam Khan. <laughs> Kiran Deep. <laughs> Alexander Ryan Mags. Andrea Agnes Manful. <laughs> Julius Elias Mapag. <laughs> Kieran Preet Nahal. <laughs> William Chiamese. Ogun Geo4.
Christopher Opuku Enchimpion. Michael Parks. Chulaka Udil Pereira. Lady Anna Santa Rosa Naves E. Silva. With first class honours and winner of a Silver Go Hearts Award, Mifao Sheikib. John Stephen Syrett. Kazim Abiyomi Sodia. Ghost Sapani. With first class honours, Anuya Pupala. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science with a year abroad, with first class honours and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Angel Elise Wiseman. Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Artificial Intelligence, with first class honours, Stephen Larry de la Cruz Ball. <laughs> with first class honours and winner of a university prize, Samuel Lewis Jonathan Bordoni. Christian Nicholas Burnett. With first class honours, Joe Pierce Burnham Slade. With first class honours, Halil Dijab. Sydney Chibu Azika. <laughs> Harshil Pradip Kumar Gudaka. <laughs> With first class honours, Hamad Kamran. Matthew Jack Mason. <laughs> Alexander Patrick Masterman. <laughs> With first class honours, Bogdan Lucian Nichifor. <laughs> With first class honours, Minos Peter Mantelli. With first class honours, Sanjeeth Salina Jane Lal. <laughs> Saeed Qasim Ali Shah. <laughs> With first class honours, Tobias Alexander Tagasi. Rostom Telemsani. <laughs> Robert John Wells.
Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Artificial Intelligence, with a year abroad, with first class honours, Piers Gordon. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Networks. Only Atan Adiji Adijiji. Zakir Dean Ajib. <laughs> Nicholas Bedin. <laughs> Rebecca Shan Kessiana Dickinson. With first class honours, Tom Colm Godwin. <laughs> With first class honours, Wayne Douglas Gray. <laughs> With first class honours, Robert Samuel Hamilton. Ahmed Haza. <laughs> Mohammed M. Dadol, Hoke. <laughs> Sarim Mohammed. <laughs> Amit Quichor Narain. Essio Jean Ann Obukowu. <laughs> Akash Karsan Patel. <laughs> Parthavi Patel. Sharad Chandrapun. <laughs> With first class honours, Neil Joseph Remjowan. <laughs> Hassan Raza. Mohammed Ikram Sarang. <laughs> Sagar Rajesh Shah. <laughs> With first class honours, Omar Sufyan. <laughs> Kyrakos Taliotis. Liam John Taylor Dolan. <laughs> Tanya Zagar. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Networks with a Year Abroad, Jamie Hughes. Alaric Hu Su Hung Ik. <laughs> Mohammed Rehan Aman. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of a silver Go Hearts Award, Yasmin Fatma Aruran. Derek Jonathan Nanadarkon Asair. <laughs> With
with first class honours, Maryam Atik. With first class honours, Camille Tomaz Bolka. Louise Braddock. With first class honours, Robert Charles Bromfield. With first class honours, Jack Martin Burgess. Sahail Butt. <laughs> William Graham, Graham Turing. <laughs> With first class honours, George Herbert Thomas Coleman. Zari Patricia Cortez Thomas. <laughs> Jack Elliot Gavell. <laughs> Jamie David Gordon Burns. <laughs> With first class honours, M. Mohidal. Hassan. With first class honours, Jihan Harat. Abror Ilkamov. Justice Karolevicus. <laughs> With first class honours, Alexander William Edward Keel. <laughs> With first class honours, Jonathan Anthony Keane. With first class honours, Nicholas Daniel Kingsbury. <laughs> With first class honours, Lesan Kunjamon. <laughs> Martinus Lenkiakus. With first class honours, Harry Mackenzie Phillips. <laughs> Ali Marga. <laughs> Dennis Martinovs. With first class honours and winner of a university prize, Daniel John Maidon. <laughs> With first class honours, Jason Robert McLaughlin. <laughs> With first class honours, Shahazeb Mirani. Miles Bansi Muda. Yeah.
Leon Freddy Oram. With first class honours, Theophanos George Paniotu. Callum Ellis Parry. Dylan Patel. Edward Cyprian Pavlikou. With first class honours, Hector Shishtov Perek. Daniel Pinnington. With first class honours, Adam John Reeves. Wenda Ruan. With first class honours, Ryan Soans. With first class honours, David Daniel Francis Tala. With first class honours, Garon Ekwaran Tinoy. Ogene Gare, Alma Odufori. With first class honours, Erhan Alusa. Olo Wafemi, Molo Fo Runsho, Valentine. David Prefredi Vowe. With first class honours, Daniel Connor Wade. Jack Verlander. With first class honours, and winner of a Paul Lidget Award, Chad Tyler Williams. <laughs> Joshua Keith Woodman. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Software Engineering with a year abroad. With first class honors, Jack Christopher Goodwin. Bachelor of Science degree in Information Technology, Mehmet Becky Rogalu. <laughs> Sunil Biswakrama. <laughs> With first class honors, Carl Stephen Bonner. Lloyd Clark. Samuel Ross Dunning. Mairead Abu Bakar Kiani. Henish Prakash Mandhania. (Applause) 
Jacques Gustave Pot Heater. <laughs> Bibin Rana. <laughs> Winner of a University Prize, Solomon Sakija. Sunil Sapkota. <laughs> Gapartap Singh Situ. <laughs> Chioma Blessing Tagbo. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Studies. Hiba Khan. <laughs> Nitesh Maiden. <laughs> With first class honours, Fatima Naila Mohammed Nazlim. Navneet Niru Talafair. <laughs> Elliot Aaron Whiting Blake. <laughs> Uma Mohammed Yassin. Department of Engineering, Doctor of Philosophy, Rwandi Karadari has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Open Set Speaker Identification. Chancellor, Rwandi Karadari. Doctor of Philosophy. Daniel Sayers Trigueros has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Design and Real World Application of Novel Machine Learning Techniques for Improving Face Recognition Algorithms. Chancellor, Dr. Daniel Sayers Trigueros. Master of Science by Research, Rupa Keshra Shamji Patel has been awarded the degree of Master of Science by Research in recognition of a program of work entitled A Biometric Approach to Prevent False Use of IDs. Chancellor, Rupa Keshra Shamji Patel. Master of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering. Rishabh Kumar, Lahore. <laughs> Joseph Nana, SL Saar. <laughs> Edreen Lumu, Sekyaya. Master of Science degree in Manufacturing Management. Anna Paula de Arajo Montiero. <laughs> Prithvi Kota. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering. Mandeep Verdi.
Master of Science degree in Operations and Supply Chain Management, with distinction, J. Liu Goncalves. <laughs> Rajitha Thilanka Horagampita Gamaj. <laughs> Tashinga Wesley Jayaguru. With distinction, Diraj J. Singh Naikwadi. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Automotive Engineering. Fahad Shah Abdul Hakim Sinathu Bevi. <laughs> Avanesh Aladi. Harshit Chowdhury. <laughs> With distinction, Curious Mular Kamat Halil George. <laughs> Umesh Kabir. <laughs> Mohammed Muyunadeen. Faisi Kapara Shahal Hamid. <laughs> Rinto Matthew. <laughs> Ramon Pinheiro Lagostera. <laughs> With distinction, Prasanath. Lokesh Kanan Rajendran. <laughs> With distinction, Sanson Reggie Matthew. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Embedded Intelligent Systems. With distinction, Larissa Rochelle Calvajo. Shashi Kumar, Diavasandra, Hanvu Mantha Ai. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Engineering, Electronics and Communications, Jack Ellis. <laughs> Master of Engineering degree in Aerospace Engineering, Jordan Ambrose Green. With first class honours and winner of a Kurt Dannenberg Award, Edward David Richard Brown. <laughs> With first class honours, Benjamin Parrish. Master of Engineering degree in Aerospace Engineering and Space Technology, Alexander Ricardo Atuja Fernandez. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of a Kurt Dannenberg Award, Garrett Andrew Lee. Master of Engineering degree in Aerospace Systems Engineering, Lukas Vyazhlav Halaskovic. <laughs> Master of Engineering degree in Aerospace Systems Engineering with Pilot Studies, Roger Ricky Singh Shraw.
Master of Engineering degree in Automotive Engineering with Motorsport, Paige Draper. The following awards were achieved under the University Joint Honours Programme, Bachelor of Science degree with First Class Honours, Max Edward Charles Keeble. Nikita Ravesh Solanki. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, John Kester Onubutri Momo has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of the program of work entitled an experimental and theoretical investigation of novel aircraft drag reduction. Chancellor, Dr. John Kester on Nibutri Momo. So that concludes uh, our awards ceremony, and it's my great pleasure now to call on Chad Williams to address us on behalf of the graduates. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for coming to and participating in this wonderful event. I would like to personally congratulate Dr. William Webb, who has published 16 books and over 100 papers. He will be receiving a Doctor of Science honorary degree in recognition of his contributions to wireless technology and engineering. When I was given the opportunity to present the speech, I was overwhelmed. What would I say to summarize my entire time at university into a three-minute speech to give to peers, friends, and family? So I decided that words weren't enough. I've decided to express my heartfelt thanks through interpretive dance. <laughs> no, uh, uh, sorry, that's later. Uh, I remember when this chapter in our lives first started. Being a fresher, equal parts terrified and excited, like I am right now. I remember my first day being put into a group of random people and being given a checklist where we had to stumble around and find rooms on campus like headless chickens. Now, some of those random people are lifelong friends with countless shared memories, like hours before an exam, frantically revising with a group of people that just gets bigger and bigger. I even remember right before the final project deadline, I had so many people coming up to me in the library stressed. They were worried that they wouldn't be able to do it. They were worried that their code wouldn't be good enough. They were worried that their report uh, wouldn't read well. They were worried that the deadline was too soon. But every single one of them persevered and succeeded. And now this chapter is ending, and I wanted to congratulate all of you. I know we're all going on our different paths. Some people are continu continuing into further academia. Others are going into work. I personally know a guy who is starting his first graduate job in Norway. And some still are either going to take some time off or do something entirely different with their lives. No matter what you're doing, I wanted to thank you all for coming on this journey with me. I wanted to make sure we all thank our friends and family for supporting us through the hard times and sharing the good times with us too. I wanted to make sure we all thank the staff, especially our supervisors. Thank you for teaching us, helping us, and responding to emails at 3 a.m. right before the deadline. I wanted to thank the university for giving us so many opportunities to take part in improving the experience for future generations. 
I myself was part of a group of student proctors that worked with the staff to improve that experience. And I fondly remember one meeting we had. We had ideas bouncing around. Uh, some of us suggested a newsletter that was going to be computer science themed. Others suggested a fun treasure hunt to improve everybody's bonding. Uh, I suggested a bouncy castle. Ultimately, we decided on lesson plans, but I think my idea would have been better. I want to thank the countless student-run societies, my vice of which was the Board Game Society, for keeping us sane. I feel so privileged to be representing all of you here today. We've all worked so hard to arrive at this point, and we should all be very proud of ourselves and each other. No matter the path you take, I just wanted to wish you the best of luck. Thank you for listening to my speech, and I hope you can continue to enjoy the rest of the celebrations. Finally, I would like to thank the Chancellor for receiving the graduates of the School of Engineering and Computer Science. Thank you, Mr. Williams, uh, very much indeed. Uh, I would like just to say a couple of things, if you will allow me, before uh, we celebrate elsewhere. Uh, and um, I would begin by reiterating my congratulations to all of you who have graduated today, uh, to your families who have borne the heat and burden of the day, I suspect, at least as much as Mr. Williams implied in his remarks, and of course to the members of the faculty behind me uh, who've done such a wonderful job in guiding you to your graduation. Many of you I talked to rather randomly on the way through to your receiving your degrees uh, have already entered the world of work. Some of you have not yet found jobs, others are about to start you'll be doing so as graduates of a university which has a very fine record for postgraduate employment. I think I'm right in saying that over 96% of your predecessors at this ceremony last year were in graduate level employment within six months of graduating. And this compares pretty well with other universities in the country including our perhaps marginally more famous neighbor at Cambridge. The world that you will be entering will be a world in the grip of change. It's become a cliche to say so, and the trouble with cliches, of course, is that they very often have an element of truth in them. Uh, and that change is perhaps encapsulated in the work uh, which um, our honorary doctor uh, has been uh, so distinguished in pursuing uh, over his career. Uh, and I venture to uh, give opinions in front of him rather courageously. But it does seem to me that change is almost always driven by advances in technology. You only have to consider looking back for comparison uh, the changes that followed the introduction of printing, for instance, in Western Europe in the 16th century. Then as now, technological change leads to extraordinary social change. And social change leads in itself to changes in national and international institutions. Uh, our existing institutions find themselves either shown up to be unable to transform themselves to take advantage of the new age, and very often they fail as a result. Those that succeed can form a new world and help us come to terms with it and take advantage of it. But here's the thing. There is no guarantee that change will bring success. History can give many examples of societies which have failed to adapt. And after all, we have a distinguished history school in this university as well. 
And I think that this is where you graduates come in. It's always seemed to me that John Henry Newman had it right when asked what the fundamental purpose of a university was. And really what he said was this. No matter what discipline you pursue in your academic life, the objective of a university education is to teach you how to think. And then also to do other things as well. To argue coherently, to argue firmly in expressing your conclusions and why you have reached them. That is emphatically not to exclude the unorthodox or indeed if you disagree to resort to personal abuse. It is above all to engage with those with whom you disagree and to use the power of your intellect, trained is as it has been here, to refute the opposition if you can and I would hope by engaging in dispute with it to increase both its and your own knowledge and to pursue success. For this to work for you, this will very often take courage. You sometimes will find yourself alone in expressing a strongly held opinion which you have arrived at. This is particularly so in turbulent times, which very often encourages uncertainty and fear in society. But I think it is in turbulent times that we need particularly to engage. Not only to engage, but to question and to reason, because so much of what we're facing is unprecedented and new. And unless we do this, I do think we must really shed any expectation of coherence in our society and risk a descent into faction and thoughtless conflict. So proper universities, like this one, have never been more important. Reason, inquiry, and argument allied to intellectual courage, and above all, allied to human decency, is what such places should and do impart. So as you go out into the world after your time here, I would like to wish you all the very best of good luck. I also hope that you will keep in touch with us, that you will come back, that you will share with us your experiences of the world and the way it is going so that we ourselves can adapt to that world and make sure that your successors are continuously uh, prepared to face it, to take its opportunities, and to benefit from what it offers us. So good luck to all of you. And with that, I can tell you that this does indeed conclude the formal part of the proceedings, and I would like to invite you to return to the Auburn Arena, where graduates will be able to look at the photographs that were taken of them as they tripped across the stage. Light refreshments, of course, will also be served. The only thing I would ask you to do would be to stand while the academic procession leaves the Abbey. <laughs>